New astronomers, Michael here. Happy holidays and thank you for tuning into my channel. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how I clean my telescope eyepieces. But first, here's a question from my Facebook page. Kim writes, Hello, can you please send me a link to a printable and detailed star charts? I have installed Stellarium in my laptop and it is awesome, but I'm tired of carrying my laptop everywhere I go. I want something handy and in paper. Well, thank you for your question. It's always handy to have a printed sky charts whenever you're out observing for a couple of reasons. The first one being that if you're using um, sky charts on your device, on your laptop for example, the glare on the screen can temporarily impair your night vision. And the second is you're, if you're out observing with other people, it's uh, impolite to be doing the same thing to them. Using a red flashlight on a printed sky chart also does this to your vision, but to a lesser degree. And also printed sky charts don't depend on whether or not you are connected to your data plan or battery power if you're using a device which could become problematic if you're observing in a remote location. My main source of printable sky charts is by SkyMap. And they release a new one every month for three different hemispheres. The Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere, and the Equatorial Hemisphere. You can download these charts from www.skymaps.com forward slash downloads.html. Additionally, you can also purchase Sky and Telescope's Pocket Sky Atlas which is a very handy booklet which you can take with you year round. It's also spiral bound. If you're interested in purchasing this one, I will include a product link in the video description. Again, thank you for asking your question. If you haven't done so yet and you would like to follow me on Facebook, my Facebook address is facebook.com forward slash new astronomer. And now on to the show. While telescope eyepieces are generally maintenance free, it's good practice to keep your eyepieces clean. Over time the oils in our skin will make the housing of our eyepieces sticky and this can attract dirt. Oils can also get on the lens which makes for a blurry view. The eyepieces I will be cleaning today are 2 inch eyepieces, but the same techniques can be applied to most eyepieces including one and a quarter inch eyepieces. It's a good idea to clean the eyepieces at room temperature and away from dusty or smoky environments. So before cleaning the telescope eyepieces, it's a good idea to allow them to acclimate to the room temperature first. So if you're coming in from a very cold observing session, let your eyepieces sit for about an hour before cleaning them. Here are the tools I will use in this video. A squeeze bulb, air blower, a brush, cotton swabs, microfiber cloth, alcohol, and a lens cleaner which is also in this tool here. So I'm going to open this now. After the eyepieces have acclimated to the room's temperature, the first thing I would do is to get rid of any large debris that may be stuck on the housing using a brush. This could be hair, dead skin, sand, or whatever. After that, I would check the lens for the same but using an air blower first. I don't want to use the brush yet because in case there happens to be sand around the lens, that piece of sand will scratch the glass or coating on the lens. This squeeze ball will provide just the right pressure to blow any dirt that may be sitting around the lens. Now if you're comfortable enough that the lens is free of dirt, clean your brush first, then go ahead and lightly brush the surface of the lens.
I would even go as far as tilting it so that the lens faces downwards. So in case there's any dirt in there, it would fall to the ground. And remember, there are two lens surfaces that may need to be cleaned. The focuser side and the observing side. Next, I would clean the lens surface using cotton swabs dipped in cleaning alcohol. Clean both lens surfaces using light pressure. Next, use the cotton swabs to also clean the housing and caps, followed by a good cleaning using a microfiber cloth. Finally, use the lens pen to clean the surface of the lens. If you're not familiar with the lens pen, it's basically a lens surface cleaner which uses carbon instead of a liquid to clean the surface. The advantage is it's more portable and convenient than cotton swabs and alcohol because the cleaner and applicator fit in a pen-like assembly. The cleaning agent is a clear carbon formula which is contained inside the cap and to use it, you take off the cap and you lightly spin the applicator on the lens surface, like so. When you replace the cap back on the lens pen, it replenishes the carbon on the applicator. What's cool about the lens pen is that you can also use it on other glass surfaces like camera lenses. So if you're interested in buying a lens pen, I'll also add a link to the video description. This eyepiece is now clean. I can put the caps back on and store it. This brings us to the end of this episode and the question of the day, which is, what do you use to store and transport your telescope eyepieces? Personally, I just repurposed this leather camera bag. I only have two eyepieces, so it just fits right. It has foam dividers inside. My eyepieces are right there. It has a zipper across the top, three pockets on the outside, which I use to carry small tools like a flashlight here and a laser collimator. What about you? What do you use? Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, or better yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video next year. Happy holidays, and as always, clear skies, and thanks for watching.